I was in middle school. I had a really awesome phys ed teacher and uh, she just did great things with the kids and I just thought this is what I want to do. I want to help kids be active and do things and realize they didn't have to be a stupendous athlete and but they need to move. You have to move all the time so that's why I did that and I never changed my mind after that. That was eighth grade and just always wanted to be a teacher. I didn't choose it, it chose me. My dad's cousin worked in Lindenwald and she called me up and said, Maria, there is a uh, teacher that is going on a maternity leave. It probably won't be, you know, a regular job, but you can get in there and uh, see, just go for the interview. You might get it, but it'll only be till June. So I was like, okay, I'll go. So I went for the interview, I got the job. And uh, at the end of the year, they said to me, would you like to stay? She decided not to come back. She wanted to stay at home with her kids. And that was how I started. That was back in 1980. I met my husband when I was 30. She had green eyes and a really nice smile. And that was it. Since I left school a year early, I had a preconceived thought about teachers. I just didn't like being in school. So teachers do a lot of hard work, a lot of work at home. And uh, everybody talks about how short their year is and how short their hours are, but I wouldn't wish their job on anyone. He has a great sense of humor. We're always laughing. Even if we're like arguing, we're la always laughing <laughs> because he always has something funny to say. And I retired in June, and even when the, thinking about the new school year starting, I was thinking like, oh my gosh, did I make the right decision? August comes and all the stores are like, you know, it's back to school time and you're like walking through all the new pencils thing like, I don't need any of that stuff. I love working with the kids. I love my colleagues. I made a lot of lifelong friends through my job as being a teacher. I have students that still contact me. So it was a great career, great job. So I don't, I, I look back fondly on it. It's not all about teaching your subject matter. It's about reaching the student, reaching the student and helping them out. And you see these kids every day and year after year you see them. So you have a real attachment to them. So you want to help them. I never really wanted to get married. I never wanted any kids. <laughs> and then, uh, so obviously things went in a different direction. Having kids helped me understand the kids I taught better, you know, cause I understood like, oh, that's what all seven year olds do. I have uh, three daughters, and they're all on their way to being successful. Helped me a lot in, in, in high school, because it was like teenagers, you know. Like, I have retired friends, and I would talk to them, and they would always say, like, you'll know when it's time to go, because I would always be like, I love my job, I never want to go. And um, I just knew. worst part was um, just seeing that there were things that needed to be fixed but you could never fix them. You know, administration, you know, the, the budgets, all that kind of stuff that I have, you know, you really have no control over but it controls so much of, of your job and that seemed to get worse as the years went on. You know, there was more control and it, as a teacher you saw that it wasn't doing all, it wasn't beneficial for everybody. I just felt like it was it was time to go. I just would go to work every day, drive driving, and think I just don't want to do this anymore. When I went out, nobody was nobody retired, so there. I was right. like in in like ghost town. Right. Um, yeah. Very so true. Was, was very very shady. true. A big right. shift for me. I didn't have a plan, but I also didn't leave it in a celebratory way. It wasn't right. there was yeah. nothing to nothing, yeah. celebrate. It was I was pretty in a dark place. I was very lost. For you guys. You know, you could enter that feeling a lot more um, excited about like this new chapter. I was binge watching television and collecting martini recipes, and <laughs> you know, then when my mom, um, when my mom's health really declined, and I moved in with her, it was like I finally had purpose again to go from 
500 people a day saying hello to me or hugging me mm -hmm. to nobody, nobody. Yeah. it was devastating mm -hmm. i ran into a teacher that we worked with she said hilda i retired seven years ago and i've been bitter still mm -hmm. and i went to my therapist and i said that cannot be me i need to look back on this career lovingly and proud of what I did and, you know, um, happy about it. And so that's really kind of what I think I was working on was putting it in its proper place, not feeling mad, not feeling pushed out. It was like a dream job. It just, you know, maybe did I stay too long at the fair or, or was, um, you know, the changes in education? <laughs> the fair change. The fair change. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't. I found that over the years, they got more huggy and they wanted they wanted hugs and kisses and because yeah, you know I guess that's what they were lacking. Well, because or, you're the steady in their life. We are yeah. right. You know, when you As teachers, you, you are. From, we used to all do big Christmas parties and yeah. and going out yeah. a lot and that's. I think that's changed a lot over yeah. the years. I was a great group of people. I always felt um, working there. That was. That, that was, was why family. we stayed, right? That was why you stayed. Yeah. People that I work with know more about me than mm -hmm. some of my, you know, yeah. uh, my other friends do, or my in or, or, or whatever. Well, that's because you saw each other every, every day. day. They about knew about my kids, about yeah. who I dated. That's the thing know, I miss kind of thing. about uh, working is is that mm -hmm. interaction with people every yes. day and finding yeah. out about their families. But now there's Facebook, so you can still see that kind of you stuff see, but it's still but still it's it's very different yeah it's very different i like it though yeah <laughs> oh i'm not saying i don't like, I it. like it one of my students came up to me last year and said mrs lafferty are you ever coming back yeah, no that's... honey i'm not happy birthday That's just like an old number, I guess. I don't feel old, I don't do the old things, you know, but when you watch TV, they show like a woman, like, six, like I'm gonna be 65, and then you're like, oh my God, that's not that far away, like. I thought she should have retired a couple years ago. He was very supportive about my decision to do it. And she woke up and she said, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do with the rest of my life? And that was it. Uh, one o'clock in the morning. This is what I've been doing since I was five years old. What am I gonna do when it comes time to retire? I wasn't ready, wasn't ready. And then one day I was on duty at the front desk and my principal walked in and I said, I need to talk to you about something. And that was it. When you're a teacher, you're confined to doing what you want when school's not in session. So now she can go to Disney whenever she wants. She can go on vacation with her friends whenever she wants. Um, it's a lot easier to get time with Maria now that she's not tied up with school. Like I went away for four days. I was away like two weekends in a row. Yeah, and, yeah. and you know, I feel bad, but then Michael will say like, you deserve it. Yeah. You worked all those years. I guess I'm lucky that he says that. Right, but we post, post those pictures of us doing whatever we're doing yeah. and people are like, oh, good for you. You deserve this. And I was like, I do, do I? Yeah, we do. I we guess we do. Yeah, years. we did. Yeah. 38 years. You could have killed someone and been out in 20. Yeah. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> and we're both kind of people that if we could go somewhere tomorrow and we both wanted to go, we would pack a bag and go on that little adventure and that's what it's always been. Now it's time to ride on to something yeah. else. Yeah. Go on to a new adventure.